Buddy Cheeky Time Gal, and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be making lacy and frilly trimmed cutouts for embellishments. Um, you're going to need to have some 110, well, you can use 65, 85, or 110 pound cardstock um, if you um, want to use a uh, thicker cardstock you'll only need to use like three pieces of paper but if you use a thinner cardstock 65 or 85 you'll need to use like five or six layers um we're going to glue the papers together and make them thick like chipboard and then we're going to embellish them with lacy stickers that i got from Timu, and we're going to color them up and we're going to make them pretty so if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in doing then you can follow me down on the desktop and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. My little lacy stickers. Um, the heart is approximately almost two and a half inches across. So I went with a three inch heart because I want it to be inside of it. And with my oval, it is uh, almost two inches across. So I went with a two inch across um, oval. And then lengthwise, it is two and a half inches. So I went with a almost three inch across that way for my oval. Um, depending on the stickers that you have, you will need to measure and go online and you can get free templates all over the place just google it and you get free templates and then you print them off on your printer and you'll have them for the size that you need um you go ahead and do that and print them off and then when you get them printed off you'll need to cut them out or maybe if you have small enough or you can't find these and you want to skip this portion you can use punches or you can use your um, die cutting machine to get you the hearts or if you want to do stars you can use stars or if you want to do any other shape you can cut that on your die cutting machine or your punches and do those and just skip the, the little lacy thing and do other things to them it's fine you can just take the basics that I'm doing and apply it to something else. You can go ahead because we're going to probably um, paint them um, so that the lace shows up because the lace is white and this is white so we want the lace to show up so we're going to paint these. So uh, yeah. So you can go ahead and paint them and then do something different with them. Put laces or bows or trims or, or whatever. Dress them up differently with gems and stuff rather than the lace but we're going to do the lace on these so what you're going to need to do is take your fabric tack glue i love the fabric tack because it works well with paper it doesn't wrinkle the paper when it dries and it gives you a little play before it starts sticking and getting tacky it gives you a little place so you can move your pieces around a little bit better and make sure they're lined up right so you take your fabric tack and you give me a new bottle And you want to go around the edge, go in, go not to the edge, but go around the edge of the edge, if you understand what that means. So that way when you press down on it, it doesn't ooze out all over the place. And then go in the middle, squirt you some in there. Line up your card stocks, press down, smooth it out. Do it again. You're going to put three on top of each other. One on top of the other on top of the other. So you're going to have three stacked. Like so. 
And when these dry completely, they will be rock hard. And they'll be just like chipboard. So I have those ready to go. Well, they're not ready to go. They have to dry. And as soon as they're dry, we will come back and start painting them up. So we'll see you in a, in a few. Okay, now that these are thoroughly dry, we're going to paint them. I have nine colors here, and they're all metallics. So we're going to paint these metallic colors. And um, we're going to paint them. So I've got little cosmetic sponges here. We're going to dip them in the paint. And paint these up. I can tell you right here, right now, they're going to need at least two coats. Okay, now that they're all dry, we're going to put the stickers on. I put one on to see how it went. Look how it looks nice. Let's put the rest of the stickers on now. I have these little bitty baby flowers that I made in a previous video on the channel. I'm matching them up with the colors that they have. 
and we're just going to go very simplistic this time because I don't want to take away from the framelits of the um, stickers with the uh, lacing. So I want to go very simplistic. I'm going to put a butterfly, a single butterfly. I'm going to make it 3D. So I punched out two cardstocks of corresponding colors. And I'm just going to fold the wing in at the body on one of them. Fold it in on both sides. So they're creased. And the wings fold up like this. Wings fold up like that. On the second body part, I'm going to put a small dab of glue along the edge of the body. Then I'm going to land them up body to body. And press down. So that they stand up like this, like a three-dimensional butterfly. And I'm simply going to just put a little hot glue on the back of the butterfly. And tack it down to the top corner. Of the heart or the uh, oval, and I'm going to put some hot glue in the back of the flower, place the flower in the center of the heart or the oval, and that is it. No bling this time, folks. That's it. Simplistic, yet beautiful. What do you think? We're going to do that with all of them. we go. Simplistic yet elegant. I think they're very pretty. I think it doesn't need any bling. You don't always have to have bling, ladies and gentlemen. You can make pretty stuff without all the flash. They're very simplistic. They're very elegant. They look stunning. There's a little shimmer and sparkle in a couple of places here and there, but not too much. I think we did a really nice job. What do you think? I think they look marvelous. That was the tutorial for today, folks. Thank you very much for stopping by and enjoying my channel. And I enjoyed spending time with you today making these wonderful little lacy little trinkets. So put them in your stash. Drag them out sometime when you need them. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Catch you on the flip side. Hey, while you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel? Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing today. Leave me ideas that can help boost my channel ratings or ideas for future content on the channel. Click the notification bell so you know when I have new videos out or when I go live. Share my um, videos on social media outlets such as Facebook or Instagram so that way my videos can reach more people and I can grow my audience. Click the like button below. That really helps my channel to help reach more people on YouTube. Supporting me is really great 
and it helps me grow my channel. I'm not a very big channel at this time, and it's really important to me that I get support from fellow YouTubers. I really appreciate you all. I really appreciate that you take time out of your busy day to view my videos and to spend time with me on a daily basis. I try to put videos out on a daily basis so you have something to watch and something to entertain yourselves with. I try really hard to make my channel a positive place for people to come and have fun and be entertained. So I try really hard to make things enjoyable for people. So if you, if you support me, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so very much for your time. Have a great day. We'll catch you on the flip side.